I'm Anil Kumar and in this practice test question we'll discuss about odd and even function. Prove the statement the product of an odd function f of x and an even function g of x is always an odd function using an example of the functions algebraically, graphically or both. Right. So what we need to prove here is that if we have an odd function and if you multiply that with an even function then that should be equal to what odd function this is what we need to prove so so we will prove it in a couple of different ways let's take an example I think that should be uh, easier odd function f of x so we are given f of x is an odd function it really means if I say f of x is odd function it means f of minus x is equals to minus of f x correct on the other hand we will take a function g of x as even function which really mean that g of minus x is equals to g of x so that makes it even right so this is even for us and this one is odd for us now what we need to prove is f of x times g of x is actually odd this is what we have to prove so let's take some examples right so let's take an example of f of x as an odd function let us say f of x equals to x and let us take g of x equals to x square right we know f of minus x is minus x and g of minus x is x square so this is even and that one is odd so in this particular case what is f of x dot or product of f of x and g of x it is x times x square and it is x cube right now x cube is let us say h of x right so let's say h of x equals to this and we know what is h of minus x will be minus x cube which is equals to minus x cube or minus of hx so that means odd right so that is how we can algebraically show with an example that uh, it is odd function right now the other way could be uh, let's do mathematical that is f of minus x times g of minus x is equal to what f of minus x is minus fx so we'll write this as minus of fx right and g of minus x is g of x so what do we get we get minus of f of x times g of x right since their product is negative f of x f of minus x times g of minus x is negative of f of x and g of x we say that they are all right so that is algebraic proof for all functions in general right this is for a specific function correct now graphically also you can show you can sketch a graph in our case let's take uh, the example which we took that is to say a straight line y equals to x right so that is odd function and then we can combine it with with a parabola which is x square now both have domain of all real numbers now like this kind of right now if you combine these two what you get is x cube right so x cube will be like this which will be a odd function so as you can see in this particular case uh, product of an odd function and an even function should always result into an odd function that's important to understand i hope all the three methods are clear to you thank you and all the best